If you want to talk about a band that was the soundtrack of your life, especially for Gen Xers and older millennials, for many of you, you don't have to look further than the Goo Goo Dolls with smash hits like Name, Slide, Iris, and Better Days. I could go on. Goo Goo Dolls bassist Robbie Takak is joining me right now, ahead of their show November 12th at the Hard Rock. Robbie, thank you so much. Absolutely. How you doing, man? Man, I'm great. The Chaos in Bloom Tour. Did you come up with that name before or during the pandemic? <laughs> Uh, that was actually, that's the title of our new album, which was recorded during the pandemic, uh, actually. So, yeah, it came up, uh, it's a direct result of uh, all that madness that, that we've been living through. Boy, it, it seems so apropos. And looking at the music video for Yeah, I Like You, I, I have to ask you, but this music video, it is wild. Um, did anyone get hurt in this? <laughs> <laughs> Only people's feelings. That's all. <laughs> That's very good to see. That's a great song, by the way. You should go out and check out that music video if you're watching right now. Uh, Robbie, I wanted to ask just on a bigger picture, when you and John, you know, when people approach you and say, hey, you were the soundtrack to my high school, you were the soundtrack to my college, my, you know, first relationship, what does that mean to you? Well, you know, I mean, after all these years, it's pretty amazing, you know, when, when you know, you feel like you still resonate in someone's life, you know, and a lot of that, you know, has to do with them associating you know our songs you know and you know in our group to uh you know those parts of their lives so uh you know it's pretty special man and uh you know it, i think it keeps uh people engaged and a little bit more uh willing to kind of listen to what we're doing next you know which is what's most important to us right when people are out at that show on november 12th at the hard rock what can they expect uh, you know, a lot of the songs, uh, you know, it's a big sing-along, you know, for a lot of it. Uh, we're going a little deeper on a few songs, uh, uh, which is uh, kind of fun for this. And uh, we had been in the uh, amphitheaters all summer, you know, playing to, you know, lawns full of people. And uh, so to be back in these, uh, you know, beautiful theaters uh, for the fall, uh, you know, brings kind of a different type of show for us. So, um, yeah, it, it's... Uh, you know, it's all, I always look forward to that uh, little run that we do after our summers. So uh, I'm excited that uh, we're coming to see you guys during it's, it. It's, it's going to be great. You know, I'm curious, Robbie, if you've ever thought about, do you feel like you know, breaking out in the 90s was the perfect moment in time? Do you ever think about, like, if your breakout was in 89 or in 2010 or some other era? Do you ever think about stuff like that? I think Johnny and I were a mess in 89. I think if we would have broken in 89 we probably wouldn't have been able to handle the rise and the workload you know that came with that you know and i think it was if it was any later i think our band slid under the closing door of a music industry uh that doesn't exist anymore so uh i don't know man i mean we got pretty lucky you know some good timing there for sure how do you keep doing music together for 40 years and yet still stay at the forefront <laughs> of everyone's mind and still be cranking out albums? Uh, you know, uh, got to be willing to argue, got to be willing to say I'm sorry, got to be willing to say I'm wrong, um, and got to be willing to try different things, you know, so you can move on and, and uh, you know, not feel like you're repeating yourself over and over again because... That gets boring, I think. With Chaos and Bloom making this album, what is one thing you will never forget about the creation, the process of making this album? We recorded it in an old church that was built in the 1800s uh, that was up in the woods, uh, in the middle of the woods in Woodstock, New York, uh, that had this sort of creepy uh, rectory attached to it where we slept. And... Uh, I just, you know, the pandemic was going on and it was just us. You know, we had never really made a record without a producer outside of the band in the room before since we were kids. And uh, I don't know, man, it's incredibly memorable. You know, I think I think anything people did over the last couple of years, you know, uh, was a little bit different than what they were used to. You know, and for us after, you know, 35 years, whatever it is now, more than that, uh, you know, being a band, it was pretty amazing you know, to have our routine so disrupted. So uh, I just think it was just the uniqueness of this uh, a journey this time. You can catch the Goo Goo Dolls at the Hard Rock Casino November 12th for their Chaos and Bloom tour. And you know, one more thing, tickets are still available. One more thing, Robbie, my wife Amanda says hi, 
and she says she loves you guys. I just had to pass that along. Uh, tell her thank you. That's so nice. Tell her we said hi back. Robbie Takak, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Good luck. All right, brother. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much.